Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos, or if you're new here, hey, welcome. My name is Orion Hendoras. Today, I'm bringing you a video of me doing a Bob Ross painting on a guitar. I've been wanting to do this project idea for a few years now, and I finally did it. <sighs> but, it didn't turn out as expected. The painting turned out better than I thought it would while I was painting. The big problem that I really didn't notice until about halfway in was the camera placement. Yep. I ended up I ended up standing in front of the camera for almost the entire painting. But hey, that's all right. It taught me a lot about where to put the camera placement in the future, what to look out for, different times of day, and good lighting, good natural lighting. So, actually, I guess this worked out in my favor. And this will help me help you guys on how to do a better painting. That steered in a different direction. Let me go back a few steps. I accidentally jumped forward. There were things I did on my painting that I wish I didn't do because I'm used to painting on canvases and I was using some things to follow along with the Bob Ross video and that didn't help all that much. The painting I'm following along with is season 11 episode 2 of Bob Ross is called Country Cabin. It's a cabin in the woods during the winter. At least I think it's during the winter. It was in a winter setting anyway. Um, my blue and red didn't blend as well as I hoped they would. But that's all right. It ended up looking pretty good at the end. I like the how it looks. The brush strokes actually added a good looking effect. One thing I would change though is I probably would have put a little bit more red and blue on. I took into account that my guitar is thinner at the top than if I was just painting on a rectangle canvas, so I used less paint to cope with that, but I actually may have used too little, should have used a little more. So I started out by sanding the whole guitar. This guitar had lots of cracks on it it was, it was it looked a little old so i fixed it up thought i'd paint on top of it i put wood filler in all the cracks i glued used wood glue to put some of the chips back on that were coming off i sanded it smooth with high grit with low grit sandpaper then traveling to higher grit then i put about maybe two two to three coats of double white primer on both sides and I did that on the whole guitar because I'm planning on painting the whole guitar in the future and I thought it'd be a great thing to paint Bob Ross on I found a playlist on YouTube of easiest Bob Ross tutorials and they're not that easy <laughs> In my opinion, they're probably just barely a little easier. But that's all right. So right now I'm just trying to finish painting the trees. I used a mixture of black, gray, brown, blue, and red. I didn't have the colors in the Bob Ross set, so I kind of had to wing most of my colors. I had to look at his and find the best matching one of mine. Some of my paints are old, so it made it a little trickier, but as to the experience, in my opinion. And if your paints are kind of old and maybe a little chunky, just mix a little bit of water, hardly any with a little bit of paint at a time. 
right here I'm just bringing my brush strokes and I'm tapping on the board bringing them down very very uh not slowly but not too fast either because we we want to give the illusion that there's more trees and they're kind of forging together when you're looking at them this was one of the parts that was hard for me following along with the tutorial is because there was a big hole now if that catches you off guard too while you're painting you could easily get a piece of cardboard paint to white or a white cardboard or cardstock or even paper and tape it to the hole so that way it gives you something to work with instead of trying to go around the hole you're going on top of it like you're going with the canvas instead of against it right here i'm just trying to pick out sections of where i could put more more trees that will catch your attention to show you that there's bigger trees and various sizes of them And I was using, I for the most part, I used the same brush. It was a brush that was about an inch, inch wide. Maybe just barely a little less than an inch, just barely a little more. Now, Bob Ross used a two inch brush for most of the painting. I'm just speeding up the video now because I kept getting in the way of the camera most of the time. I kept the reason why I kept most of the parts in is just so it wasn't constantly jumping jump cutting and so that way I could show that I'm not perfect with this stuff yet but right here I'm just going back and forth with the same brush I rinsed it off a little bit but I kept most of the colors on so that way it didn't feel like it was jumping between colors too much and I'm just painting the snow. In the tutorial, it showed you to brush back and forth in a certain way. It was optional, according to Bob Ross, as usual. He says, you could do whatever you want. It's your painting. I kind of tried to stick along with him since it was my first go at it. The reason why I'm painting like this is to give the snow more of a... More like a terrain look like if it wasn't snowing it's on a train and the wind's blowing it and it's like shaping with the train and i wanted it to fade out into the white of the guitar so i only use a little bit of paint on the lower part i had to be careful because it dried to the primer really quick because i didn't put a base coat of white on Right now I'm doing the cabin. I took a palette knife. This would be a lot easier on a canvas for sure. But I took my palette knife and I'm marking out the areas of the right side of the roof. My palette knife overshot a little bit, but I was able to get it off with a wet paper towel, damp, not wet. It took off a little bit of the black paint, but that's okay because I'm adding in snow later. Now I'm dragging my palette knife across to show snow being on the roof and blowing around maybe just a little bit. If you watch the video for yourself, you'll get what I'm talking about. But yeah, just in case I didn't say it or you didn't catch it, it's a Bob Ross tutorial, um, season 11, episode two, Country Cabin. All right, now I'm painting the walls of the cabin on. I uh, Mine looked more black than brown, and later on I tried to go in with some brown to try and lighten up the tone just a little bit because I felt like it was too black and white of a cabin with the snow and the black walls. So later on, I go in with a little bit of brown, and instead of painting the whole wall brown, I go in and make it look like there's beams of maybe oak wood holding up the roof in place here's a free shot where i'm not in front of frame showing how my cabin looks like and 
right here, I'm adding in a snow block fence, just following along with Bob Ross still. He's always funny to listen to. He always puts in a rock or a cloud and he says, let's give this rock or cloud another friend. But yeah, without further ado, I'll let the rest of the video play out and then I'll show you the end product of the guitar. All right, so this is the end product. This is what I got. There are some things I'm proud of, some things I've changed. Um, sorry for not posting for a while. I got some really cool things going on. They're taking longer than expected, but I'll get them out soon. Um, I'm, I'm just wearing a mask to keep my face covered. Um, I'm not comfortable with my face being on the internet yet. And I have acne, so I don't want that being on the internet either. All right, I also got some things I'm gonna put on the side. I got some palm tree stickers. Oh, I got these, I found these, I forgot I had them and I figured I'll put them on the guitar. But yeah, this is end product. I hope you guys liked the video, I hope you enjoyed. Um, check out some of my other videos if you think I deserve it. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and hey, I'll see you guys in the next video.